so much like saying goodbye Aren't you right behind me? Uh, I just had to clean up that mess back there. Ah! God damn it. Well, let's go and see what we find at the vortex of all this. Oh, uh, I have a guess. Didn't exactly stick that soft field bending, huh? Uh, not like I had much practice on an actual grass stripe. <laughs> oh, keep on going. So, um, you think this is the case of schizophrenia? That's the word, schizophrenia! Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still can't say for certain, but I'm learning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is how she's able to materialize here so vividly. You think she's still able to, uh, see us? Hard to say, but she shouldn't be able to interfere for now, at least. This seems to just be a normal memory playback. Oh, I think this is when he realizes it, right? What you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever haven't you ever heard the phrase stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on top of the hill too, you know. I'll raise you there. I think Faye was his imaginary friend, and he, um, it went a bit far, pretty much. Oh, it's that place. Yeah, right here. Hey, I was thinking, um, it was a little windy today. Maybe we should come back some other time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer. We're physically already here. We're practically, practically already here. Hey, remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? Hmm. I think he does know. The wind. The wind? It wasn't there a moment ago. Oh, that's how he will tell, because her dress ain't moving. It's not reacting to the wind. I think that's how he tells. Okay, what is the matter now? Let's just say, rest here for a while. <laughs> uh, can you barely walk any steps? Hey, I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill. <laughs> oh, I just thought you'd have gotten stronger by now, that's all. 
The cello got bigger too, you know. Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? Hmm? You remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill? Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. <laughs> you sure you were excited to take me up there, though? Yeah, it had been a while since I took anyone in there. It's still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really was, or really has been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I'd rather miss going there. Hmm, so why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired, and it's not that win. We're already come so far. You know as well as I want as what we have to do. I think he does know. He's just trying to... Like, he's trying to fight with his mind, pretty much. I think that's what it is. I think he's having a war with his mind, pretty much. He knows it's fake, but his mind is not allowing him to, uh, I guess, comprehend it. Or, you know, believe it himself. <clears throat> First time we came here. That was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. It helped. It still does, actually. <laughs> hmm. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. But you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? Oh, is it doing the scene? Oh, yes! Oh, goosebumps! It's nice up there today. It always is. You don't have to leave anymore. Hmm? I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're getting a bit too old for me to stay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want, I don't care. You made me who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You taught me to practice the scales. Hmm. No, Colin. I can't teach you anything you don't know. Nor can I make you do anything you don't want. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it was just someone like me. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what could, couldn't could be. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and all that could be? Sometimes stepping out of this little world what we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things all around you. I just... I want to be alone. Sure. If I go, you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But that's all a part of growing up, and it's all a part of life. 
It's what makes fleeting moments with loved ones treasured and our memories precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but I know you won't find all that you need living only in these pages of yours, of ours. You brought me into this world. I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to say, some are only meant to carry you so far. In my own way, you know I will always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we can do, then it's something you could do. Hmm. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? So this is this is him growing up, pretty much. That's what it truly is. He knows it's her. It's his mind. And this is just him accepting the fact to give up his imagination pretty much and just move on I don't know I don't think I'm ready for it to end I don't care what you are or aren't you are my first real friend hey this doesn't have to be the end for us One day you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. <laughs> we'll talk like how we used to talk, and you'll tell me about your day. <laughs> know about your life. You'll tell me about what a happy life you've had and all the nice memories you've made. <laughs> I might not have a, such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that? <laughs> Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when the day comes, I know you'll have lots of happy memories to share. <sighs> and it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You've replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot, sorry about that. <laughs> but now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? <laughs> Same book filled with all kinds of different pages as it should be. Take care of yourself, all right? Hey. I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. <laughs> A long, long time ago. Happy because she never came back again? That could be it. <laughs> if Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt he wouldn't have 
You get to call us. Yeah. So perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. Oh, fuck my head. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. Wait. Do we even know what we're doing with him yet? I have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the overworld and figure things out while we do. All right. Hmm? Oh shit, he's banned. What the fuck? Oh heck. No, no. Ah, uh, wait just a- ah! I think Watts just died. In my own way. I'll always be there to protect you. Oh, I just- I cried like a bitch just now. I think she's waiting. Neil? What's taking you so long? Ugh. This place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Okay. Ow. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be harder. I think that's all of them, but... Uh... Ow! What the f... Huh? Whoa. Was that a... Is Faith helping us right now? That was an airplane. That was a paper airplane. Whoa, where am I? Oh, where's, where's Watts? Watts, where are you? What is this place? <laughs> oh, this ain't good. Hmm. Oh, well, this is gonna be fun. His memories, they're falling apart. Uh, uh. Um, don't know where to go exactly. In the blink of an eye, suddenly there's no more time. And I find myself here just like everyone else. <laughs> I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we are here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want us to fix? <laughs> uh, real quick, I'm gonna just pause it. I think he's... Yeah, he's not doing fucking good. Save. Yeah, he's not doing good, actually. He's doing very fucking bad. Now, I'm guessing this moving shit ain't helping him either. Oh, uh, give me a sec, bro. Do the procedure and live that new life. Just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Pierre. I won't forget about you. It feels like the love wasn't mostly set with the. Um, it feels like it was mostly set with the. Um, with his childhood, pretty much, or his. His world, his creativity, pretty much. We only have so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things we'd want to try, other paths to take. Oh. 
Shit, shit, fuck, shit, shit, fuck, shit, 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 fuck, shit, shit, fuck. Did I spill it on your dress? I just want one more excuse to jump into that lagoon. Ugh. Damn. You know, we don't have to waste all the lemon juice. All that lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No, why? <laughs> I'm prepared to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this, it's invisible ink. Invisible ink? Yep, the written appears in color only when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. It's uh, been a while since I've written. Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We could write about this trip. Hmm. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote on. What of it all? <sighs> Why was that not a part of that memory earlier? Uh, uh. Why would you? Why would you even consider? Why would you tell us I never think we have for something make believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. I'm stuck. We all have regrets, but it's righting or wrong. Our dream long past. At Segment Corp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Wait, these don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that... The sedative swearing off? I'll take that as a yes. You are different even from the man you were when I first met you. You're no longer aloof, you know. When you're here, you're actually here. Oh, that's what she meant. That's what she meant. He was... It's mesmerizing here. Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Don't you think you're forgetting of what actually is? All that could be? Okay, look, I got it. I got your message, you hear me? I know you're still here. You can come and get me now. Uh. Huh. Damn it. I really thought it was her. Hmm? Oh, uh, wait. Is that really the only way to... Ah! I don't know why I switched his voice from deep to wimpy <laughs> a lot. Where the hey have you been? I figured it out, Ava. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but I guess that's what it takes when you're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? Hmm? The sedative. It wore off already? You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Hm, well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can it? So, looks like we're about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No. No. We're not going to erase you. We're going to erase us. 
Wait, what? Colin never needed our services, Eva. He already had her. The ability to change his reality, to live in a different world. One that filled the gaps of what he wanted all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. And yet she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. What are you, what are you trying to imply? No, that can't be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We... Because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. What we do... It has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate for us. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality... Maybe our existence was merely an unwelcomed amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary, and the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two! Things aren't looking good with the patient. Uh, I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of get out of there. And by the might wanna, I mean need to. All that, huh? I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to impl implement an actual change. But any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. But what about her? Hmm? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be initialized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You are suggesting giving a sole control of the machine to a mental process of the patient. Their initial implications of that, it hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had a chance like this. Besides, what's our alternative? Just leave and mark this as a white off? But what about legal complications and the contract? It says... Oh, come on, Eva. When has that contract stopped us? Uh, uh, guys! Uh... Go on. I'll be right behind. Uh, don't say I never trust you. doing this for us? Well, if I were Colin and on my last breath, I trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? <laughs> strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. Mm. You've been here for just a day yet. In all of his lifetime, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And well, <laughs> you're kind of the first I've been able to meet, too. <laughs> In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wanted, really wished for. It was one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. <laughs> Full admin access transferred to unknown creditor Fay. You're gonna be all right? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty all right. Hmm. Well. Hey. Do you think that in some ways I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth. I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction 
we tell ourselves. Hmm. Good luck out there. Colin's counting on you. You got a fate. You can fix your boy. Fix it. Beep shit to me. <coughs> Don't do that beeping shit to me. <clears throat> His blood pressure is dropping. Vital signs are fading fast. Hmm. I think he's letting go. Sorry for your loss. Please take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they're ready, I'll... Oh, when they're ready, I'll let them know. <laughs> this was worth uh, five, ten bucks. <laughs> this was worth ten. Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this after just having been in there. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'm just a little cold. Uh, it felt warmer in there. we did back there. Do you know if it worked? What to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but uh, well, it never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it'd be. Guess we got another mess of reports, right? We can take care of that when dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something. Excuse me, um... So... So, uh... Did you succeed? Uh... There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but, um... I'm just... I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Hmm... <laughs> Uh, Sophia said you got a lighter. Sophia said you got a lighter. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, da -da 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 there you go. Mm hmm? Go oh, call him what you do. Shit to me. Come on. I never stood up very tall. I think my voice was fairly small. But there were times I'd want to shout, though my thoughts weren't sorted out. So I'd stumble and I'd. Did she? No, I thought it was a baby. 
that I was like her making herself like a baby sister or something. Fucking singing shit. <sighs> she did change it. She did change it. <laughs> that means you never win. <laughs> Good. Good. Should have been mad. That's how it should have been. Is she out there? Am I playing as him now? No. Is she out there? Come on, at least he crossed the fucking thing. Come on, it could just be right fucking there. Come on. No, fuck this game. <sighs> yes, thank you. Fucking <laughs> looking for something old timer. <laughs> Been a while, uh -huh. <laughs> a long while. <laughs> you haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? <laughs> Listen, I wish you would have a better circumstance, but <laughs> I know. 
I wish I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. I'm sorry, I'm fucking... I'm fucking terrible right now. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah. I have a lot of those. But, that's okay. The chances I miss, the mishaps and all that, I wish I had. Well, they were still, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all that I do have. I'm a fucking mess right now, fuck y'all. <laughs> and what I do have, I wouldn't have traded for anything else in the world. <laughs> That's all I wish to hear. I always die, no damn it. <laughs> I'm a fucking mess. Go on. They're waiting for you. <laughs> it's time to go home. <laughs> hey, Colin. So I had to leave back then. <laughs> Thank you for having been there here when nobody else was. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck with this game. <laughs> this is what his last moments were. Fuck everything. Fuck life. I hate this fucking game. This game can go to fucking hell. <laughs> God damn it, I'm missing wrestling because of this shit. <laughs> fuck you, guy. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> God damn Oh my god, there's only one fucking time in my life I've actually gone like this, and it's my fucking, um, um, fucking, I forgot the damn name of it, uh, scene. <sighs> oh my fucking god. <sighs> oh my god, never in my life did I ever think I'd be a bitch. <coughs> The story and everything was just so fucking beautiful. Pushed my life away. That was a good song. I hate you though, cause you fucking did the last one too, and you made me cry with that shit. And you did it again. I want the fucking soundtrack. Can I have the fucking soundtrack? I just want the soundtrack. I, I don't give a shit about anything else. I just want the fucking soundtrack. <laughs> well, I did it, and the whole fucking day I did it. Cool. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> this game sucked. <laughs> That's a fucking lie. It was the best game I've ever played in my life. <sighs> and I'm just happy to say that this is the first game that I actually finished for the fucking channel. Oh, sorry, I'm hitting the mic. I'm just, I'm, I'm literally a mess right now. Okay, what happened with Watts? Explain the machine and everything, please. Ugh. There's no way it fucking ends like that. Come on. Thought so. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, wait, I just realized something, though. The little girl, she said a, gr a woman all in brown helped her. So, Where are you? Oh, I had my scotch, uh, drinking home. You said you'd be here. I said I'd visit like we always do, not attend the funeral. When was the last time we even did that? I know, but I, I just thought we owe it to him after... D Dr. Rosalie, uh, we're about to start. Oh, um... Go on, I'll get my turn. I don't blame him. <sighs> Alright. Enjoy your sketch. Alright, enjoy your sketch. You know it. <sighs> Good. Now, where were we? Hmm? Oh, that look he's getting at all, deal. I asked you to knock. I asked you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why don't you just keep both locks on? Dagnabbit, Rob, I don't know why she even got you involved. <sighs> Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You betcha! So, is that the illusion you were talking about? Yeah. That's her. I thought so! Okay, so let's clarify some. Um. Didn't complete that. Didn't complete that. Didn't complete that. Didn't complete that. He saved Faye. Thank you for fucking making this and fucking making me cry like a bitch. Cause this game was just fucking beautiful. Freebird, y'all guys are awesome. But mainly Kanagayo, cause he's the one that made this whole thing. Um. Goddamn. Hey guys, um, I would have done this with the cam, but uh, some reason the cam's not working, as you can see there. So, um, about finding paradise, I'm just gonna try making this quick, not ramble. Uh, it's gonna be a bit hard for me because I ramble apparently. Uh, um, the game hit me very hard. Like no lie, it's I finished the game sometime in January, and it took literally. Uh, today, the 3rd of February, to uh, talk about it, or to collect my thoughts about the game, you know? Um, the game was amazing, it was great, and I guess the reason it hit so hard for me was because um, I never thought I would... Uh... No, it's not that. Uh... <laughs> It's hard to say, it's still hard to talk about. Um, I'm, I felt like that happened to me, I guess you could say. Like how Colin um, had to let go of Faye and grow up. That felt like it happened to me a bit. Um, like we had to grow up, we had to let go of um, the worlds we create and all that. And it it's sort of heartbreaking after you realize how different you turn into. Like, uh, when I was younger, I was more creative. I always came up with ideas. I always came up with, like, movie ideas and, like, things that could be a movie. Things can do this. Things could do that. But now that I'm older, I had to drop all that, let go of my creativity to support my family. And, yeah, I know it's two different things, but I think that's how it is. Like, my voices, the voices I do, that's still part, that's still a little bit part of, um, 
the childhood I guess I kept because I know there will be one day to where I will have to give up the voices that I do and that would sort of suck because y'all guys really love the voices um I mean I would I wouldn't give them up for the world it's just I know there will be one day where um there will be a time where I would need to grow up and let go of things that will make me happy which is right now the voices I do and it would hurt a lot like it did when I lost the creative mind that I had so I guess you could say that's why the game um, hit me hard when uh, Faye and them left the entire game was just it was beautiful it was a beautiful game um uh, it, it's I'm not joking it has taken me about a month to process the game to, for it to process through my head and stuff but um besides that the game was just fucking amazing so yeah um I know I haven't really um said a lot uh through finding paradise because i did it all in one day but um each and every episode i did i enjoyed making it because i enjoyed playing the game i had so much respect for it because the game opened um my imagination up a bit because um the very first video i did was app cool and it was based I, I would say i got it was inspired by to the moon and also a little by assassin's creed not from the killing and shit but going back in time and seeing these memories you know i would say just like the main character with the hood that's the only inspiration assassin's creed brought but besides that the rest of it was mainly inspired by to the moon and yeah and uh thanks to one of my friends who said they uh watched this this series uh finding paradise and didn't understand it um the next game series game like steam game series we do will be to the moon and then after that finding not finding paradise fucking a bird story and then the segment as episodes that are like in between that so we're gonna be doing that and yeah okay well uh, thank you guys thank you for all the support you guys have given for this uh, series it means the world to me um, I'm glad there was I know there wasn't a lot of people that watched it but I'm glad there was a small fraction of the subscribers that we have to watch this series because this series is the first ever game series I've completed and I'm so happy it is because this series was just so great fuck you goddamn system face foundation whatever the fuck your name is but yeah um yeah Whew. okay well um like subscribe share this video with y'all guys friends you guys enjoyed and um, I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever the hell I make. Bye, guys. <laughs>